हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन एंड फेज मॉड्यूलेशन फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन फर्स्ट लेट अस डिफाइन द फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन एंड देन वी विल डिराइव द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेटेड वेव and also we will sketch the necessary wave forms frequency modulation is a process of altering the frequency of carrier signal with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping amplitude and phase of carrier signal constant so frequency modulation is a process where we are altering the frequency of the carrier signal with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping amplitude and phase of carrier signal constant let us take the instantaneous value of carrier signal as c of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi f c t let us call this as equation number 1 let us consider the instantaneous value of message signal as m of t is equal to am cos 2 pi f c t let us consider this as equation number 2 we know the standard equation for angle modulation that can be written as s of t is equal to ac cos theta i of t let us take this as equation number 3 here theta i of t is nothing but angle of fm wave which is the modulated signal we can write the instantaneous frequency f i of t of fm signal as f i of t is equal to f c plus k f m of t so let us call this as equation number 4 so these two equations we have understood from our previous lecture in equation number 4 kf is nothing but frequency sensitivity of the fm signal m of t is the message signal also we know that we can write fi of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi d by dt theta i of t let us take this as equation number 5 let us substitute equation number 4 in equation number 5 so we can write fc plus kf m of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi d by dt theta i of t therefore we can write d by dt theta i of t is equal to so let us multiply this term with this equation so we can write 2 pi fc plus 2 pi kf m of t let us take this as equation number 6 now let us apply integration on both sides of the equation so we can write integration of d by dt theta i of t is equal to integration of 2 pi fc plus 2 pi k of m of t dt so here integration and differentiation will cancel out therefore we can write the above equation as theta i of t is equal to 
टू पाई एफ सी इंटू टी सिंस दिस इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो दि इंटिग्रेस ऑफ दिस टर्म विल बी टू पाई एफ सी टी प्लस टू पाई के एफ इंटिग्रेस ऑफ एम ऑफ टी डी टी लेट एस टेक दिस एज इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन सो लेट एस सब्सिट्यूट इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन in equation number 3 so we are having the standard equation for angle modulation let us substitute the value of theta i of t from equation number 7 in this equation we will get s of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi f c t plus 2 pi k of integration of m of t dt let us take this as equation number 8 this equation is the general equation for fm signal so this expression is the general expression or general equation for fm signal equation 8 is the general expression for the fm signal now if we consider the message signal m of t is equal to am cos 2 pi fm t if we integrate on both sides of the equation therefore we can write integration of m of t dt is equal to integration of am cos 2 pi f m t d t therefore integration of m of t d t we can write it as a m into sin 2 pi f m t divided by 2 pi f m so if we rearrange the equation we will write a m divided by 2 pi f m into sin 2 pi f m t therefore equation 8 can be written as s of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi f c t plus 2 pi k f multiplied with a m divided by 2 pi f m into sin 2 pi f m t here we can cancel out 2 pi therefore we can write the expression as ac cos 2 pi f c t plus k f a m divided by f m sin 2 pi f m t since k f a m divided by f m is taken as beta which is modulation index of f m signal so above equation we can write it as beta is equal to delta f m divided by f m so here k f a m is nothing but delta f m that's why we can write beta is equal to delta f m divided by fm if we substitute beta in the above equation we can write s of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fc t plus beta sin 2 pi fm t let us take this as equation number 9 so equation number 9 is the standard expression our standard equation of fm signal for m of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fm t now these are the waveforms to represent the fm signal so this is the message signal that can be represented as m of t is equal to am cos 2 pi fc t so we will consider a carrier signal which is c of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct 
now the frequency of this carrier signal is altered with respect to the message signal and that carrier signal with high frequency is transmitted so this is the fm signal which is after modulation as you can observe during positive half of the input waveform or during positive half of the message signal the frequency is high and during negative half of the message signal the frequency is low so which means the frequency of the carrier signal is varied with respect to instantaneous value of the message signal that's why it is known as frequency modulation now let us understand phase modulation let us define phase modulation it is a process of altering the phase of carrier signal with respect to the instantaneous value of message signal by keeping amplitude and frequency of the carrier signal constant so phase modulation is a process of altering or changing the phase of the carrier signal with respect to the instantaneous value of the message signal by keeping amplitude and frequency of the carrier signal constant the standard expression or the standard equation for angle modulation can be given as s of t is equal to ac cos theta i of t where theta i of t will be equal to 2 pi fct plus kpm of t so this is the value of theta i of t for phase modulation if we substitute this value in this equation we can write s of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus kp m of t so this is the general expression or general equation of phase modulated signal here kp is the phase sensitivity parameter so this is the general expression for phase modulated signal here kp is the phase sensitivity parameter this is about frequency modulation and phase modulation hope you have understood the topic thank you